Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bobby Kryptonite here, and welcome to another Bobby K Bikes video. And welcome to the next project. This will be the bike that I'm going to do up once I've done with the Falcon. Um, it's a Rudge Ulster Sports. Now, it's really a rally. Um, Rudge was a bicycle company in the, I think in the 30s, they may have been going for a little bit earlier, and sometime in the late 30s they were acquired by Rally, and I think thereafter Rudge bikes were a bit of badge engineered rally bikes. Um, I'm going to do a separate video on this, as I don't have much time today, but if you look at this bike next to the Trent Tourist, it's the exact same frame, the lugs are identical, little place for the pulley wheel, all the sort of geometries, all the little details, it's, this is pretty much a Trent Tourist with different parts. Um, it's actually a badge engineered version of the Trent Sports, which if I gather correctly is a, just a Trent Tourist with skinnier wheels and some more lightweight parts built more for racing than the Trent Tourist was. Um, so I picked this up late 2014 um, and it, when I got it it had these pretty awful aluminium bars on them that were just a bit scuffed up and not very nice looking so we're gonna get rid of these and I did a bit of digging in some spare spins at B-Cycle and found these nice chrome bars, so I fitted them. The more observant of you may notice that this stem here is the exact same stem that's on the Falcon. So I'll give you a quick little tour of the bike and tell you a bit about it. Okay, this front wheel is a chrome steel rim and it's, I think it's a rally wheel, it's certainly got a rally R0 on the spindle, though that may not necessarily mean anything. but. This could well be an original front wheel that we've got here. I've asked around on the Retrobike forum and I was told that these forks are possibly BSA forks from the 1940s, so they're not original or standard to the bike. It, I think I've seen I've actually seen the brochure for someone scanned in the Rudge brochure for me and I think the original forks would have been much like the Trent Tourists ones which sort of came up to here and then they had the sort of thimbles in here-ish, and it's got this nice sort of shiny fork cap, so we're gonna keep that. And uh, it didn't really have any brake calipers on it when I got it, I just found this one in the spares bins and thought it looked nice and like it might actually stop the thing, so I decided to go for these. Um, headset's a bit rusty, um, you may also notice, let me just switch to manual focus so I can change if need be. Um, you may also notice around about this area of the frame that it's been sort of poorly brush painted at some point. You can see a bunch of paint runs, so I'm going to sand it right down and start again. Like I said, same stem as the Falcon right here. It's got this strange tape that someone's put on the top tube. The Trent Tourist also had this, so, uh, and seeing as these are both bikes I acquired in Aberdeen, I wonder if it's an Aberdeen thing to put this funny tape on your top tube back in the 50s or 60s. <laughs> Ah, um, got this decal here saying Ulster Sports, that's the one thing that's stopping me from doing the sanding down just yet because I've not found reproductions of these, um, the people that I got the Falcon decals from I don't think they've done a reproduction of this decal so I'll have to look around, I have a program on my computer that you can use to design decals and then I think uh, Design, yeah, you can do designs and drawings in such a way that they'd be sort of printed on vinyl. It's called Inkscape, it's open source so anyone can get it. Um, we've got this chain ring now, this may cause a bit of controversy. You may see that the logo in the chain ring, Roger's logo, is the red hand of Ulster, an open right hand. Um, this logo has been used for many things, but I think. Also, I, I've not done too much reading into it, but perhaps also some slightly controversial stuff, so we shall... But it's a nice chain ring, and it's a, it's pretty cool, so I'll keep, I'll hang on to that if I can. I mean, I'm not sure if the teeth are too worn to, for me to reuse this, but here's hoping I can clean it up and stick it back on. Um, back wheel. Um, I haven't really properly cleaned up the rim, so I'm not even sure if it's steel or aluminium. It's certainly got an aluminium hub back here that's got lots of sort of aluminium salt deposits on it. Uh, quite a nice hub though, so it might clean up nicely. And it's a flip-flop hub. Um, 
we've got a cassette here on this side and if we go around to the other side you'll see there's a threaded bit for putting a freewheel on. I've yet to actually be, get this part off so I've not been able to put a freewheel on. I was thinking that I'd just turn the wheel around and put a spare freewheel on and uh, just run it as a single speed for a bit. Uh, no rear brakes as of yet. Um, pretty nasty seat post. Pretty nasty seat by Universal. Um, that's focusing right. Um, and also this has survived, I think, uh, attempts of several previous owners to turn it into a fixie. As you'll notice, pedalling forwards, stop, and it turns backwards. Now this isn't a fixed cassette, this is just a very seized cassette. If you, sorry it's getting caught on my maintenance stand, if you run it forwards and then you just sort of jam it backwards, you can actually get it to coast, um, but if you do it very gently, it is fixed. So. Um, Bit of a shame, but this is what we're working with. So, what's the plan? I'm thinking I'm going to build a fixie. Um, because as I've given you this little run through of the bike, all we've really got that's original here is the frame, the crank set, and possibly that front wheel. So I really don't feel too bad about turning this into a fixie. Um, I did long term want to put a Sturmy Archer 3 speed system on here but that would probably run this project into the hundreds of pounds and I'm hoping to do this on a fairly low budget so for now we'll build a fixie. I've seen these wheels on Amazon that I think should fit, I've done measurements and it looks like they'll fit, they're sort of deep section anodized aluminium red fixie wheels and because this is a bike from the 50s if I get red wheels and maybe some skin wall or white wall tires that would be a sort of nice hot rod custom kind of look. Um, the paint colour, um, well, assuming I can find reproduction decals or maybe not, maybe I'll just give up and figure out something else to do, but I'm thinking of a nice light blue, maybe a sort of metallic sky blue, um, a lightish blue with a nice bit of sparkle in it. I'm not sure whether to keep the forks black or to just do the whole thing as one colour. Um, I'm going to go with these chrome bars. I'm thinking I'll go for a bit of a resto mod. I'm not going to be afraid of mixing steel and aluminium. We'll maybe keep this aluminium stem. We'll get a nice polished aluminium seat post on the go. I'm thinking a brown, a dark brown saddle and brown bar tapes. Maybe if I was doing this money no object, I'd get a Brooks leather saddle. But uh, on the budget, I'm going to go for. There's a rather nice mountain bike saddle called the Madison F Flux saddle, which I've had one on the Team Banana and it was a good saddle. Um, I'm going to use the brake calipers off that Persia that I crashed a few years ago and a few other parts borrowed from it. I'm going to need some pedals with toe straps if I'm going to build this as a fixie uh, and I'll need to make sure that uh, the chain and the crank set all work with the, the sprocket that's on the fixie wheels. I'm trying to think what else I was planning on doing with this. I think that was about it. As for mudguards, I'll maybe use the Persia ones or I'll maybe try and find a set of white celluloid ones like are on the Trent Tourist as it is essentially the same bike. I'll replace the headset with something a bit shinier. And I think that's really it. If you've got any suggestions, like I said, uh, I'll maybe create a poll or something of do we want black forks or do we want the forks to be the same colour as the frame and yeah have your say I think with a custom or classic bike build you can never really go wrong with brown bar tapes and brown saddle it just kind of has a nice luxury look to it almost like leather I'm thinking it might also be a nice touch if I file these down a little bit to use these champagne corks to actually plug the bar ends I thought it would be just a nice little touch so um that's that, let me know what you think, and hopefully soon we can crack on with this build. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next one. Tatty bye!